all right guys so welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you how to create a working paypal account in 2022 as you can see here i've been receiving payments on this one and this account is without ban like free from paypal banning your account stuff like that so i'll teach you how to create the account and verify it in under 20 minutes it's very easy to do but it's actually very simple and i'll be walking you through every, how to do everything but um before i get started you can actually do everything on your phone but i'm going to be for the first time i'm going to be making a video with my laptop also but you can try to do it on your phone also if you want to everything is actually very simple to do so before i get started guys make sure you go ahead to my youtube channel because i'll be changing my sort of videos from how they were before to now i'm going to be getting more videos on how to really make money online free apart from all these airdrops and stuff like i'm going to go in deep into all the cp marketing affiliate marketing stuff like that so if you want to see more of those contents and more free airdrops like i'm making thousands of dollars make sure you hit that subscribe button down below so before we, without missing most of your time i'm going to switch to my laptop screen now so we can get started <laughs> okay guys so welcome back to my screen so i'm going to actually rush some parts of it so here as you can see in the link you have to change something in the link if you open people on your browser normally it will take you to the people on nigerian website but you have to change something there that's how to do it so i'm going to change it it's going to be paypal.com slash uae so i'm going to be pasting the link in the description box so you can just use that straight so once you do that it will take you to the uae website because that's where that's the country we are going to be signed up as because they don't accept nigeria so once you do that change the url and click on sign up <clears throat> because if you don't change it they will detect that from nigeria and you'll be able to use the account for what you want to use it for so you have to change the country to uae but just simply click the link in the description box i've changed this for you already so you can just click that so once you click on sign up click on business account then click on continue i told you i might have to rush it so if you miss anything you can just pause the video or go back you can try to keep the video under 15 minutes because most of the videos are too long like on the paper stuff and it's not really something that much so here you are asked to put in your email address that you want to use so i'm going to put in the email address right now you can just use any email address or create a new one you can't use an email address that's been used for a previous people account i'm going to tell you that you can't use that so just create a new email address if you don't have then click on it and then put it there so here you have to put in your password select any password that you want um with the following guidelines that it set there so once you're done just click on proceed so you tell them about your business as you tell them about your name first of all so yeah you have to put your arm here make sure you put in your legal name that is on your documents you might not be required to verify document but just make sure you do that as it might still end up being useful in the future so make sure you put your legal name that you be and not just a fake name so you put your name there so i'm going to put that right now all right so that. So once you are done business details like what is the name of your business just select any name you want your the business to be or anything just select any make sure you click business account before so you scroll down in business phone number here you can actually use an nigerian phone number use the phone number of the country where you are coming from because it's not necessary to just use any country's phone number because you might be asked to verify one day so just make sure you use your country's phone numbers i'm going to click this and look for nigeria there <coughs> So yeah, Nigeria, so then you put your phone number. You won't be asked to verify OTP now, but I just advise using your real details for everything. So business address, basically you can just select, okay, then I'm not done with the phone number. So just put the phone, num phone number there, I made a mistake on that. So business address, just put your home address in Nigeria, but make sure the address will still be in Saudi Arabia. So this address basically doesn't exist, but just input something there so they can know you actually have an address, or you can look for an address in, Saudi Arabia on um, Google to check for, but I'm just using any Nigerian address here. Then the country will be Saudi Arabia, but it's, it's not so. Normally, you can just select the city, type your city. Then when you click on country, you see Emirates, then places in the Emirates. So you can just select anyone Abu Dhabi or anywhere. But I'm going to be selecting Abu Dhabi in this one. So yeah, you can just select anyone. The address is not really valid for this account because you're, you obviously you don't need it there. So you have to just input an address there so once you're done just click on abu dhabi so then um it's currency obviously us dollar i prefer using us dollar so just click on agree and continue so describe your business first of all so here you have to tell them like what you do so for this just click on it then click on individual and show partnership like you are the one that own your business 
so you just click on that so products or keywords here just put in uh, professional services that's what most people use and it actually works so just click on continue so for this you have to put in your date of birth then um, your identity documents here you can actually use your NIN so uh, you can just put in your date of birth I'm going to be talking about all that things so once you put in your date of birth and you get to the point of identity document just select national ID and use your name your NIN number so it's not compulsory you have the plastic ID card you can actually use your NIN number what you need is the NIN number so once you use that you can actually use that to do it then for the date of birth I think here yeah, you must be up to 18 so I'm just going to select any random date of birth for this one to use on this account so <coughs> and by the way guys if you are enjoying this video so just want to make sure you like the video just hit the like button as a free way of supporting the channel and it's get it enables more people to see this video so more people like you can know how to do these simple things that people are charging you for like so you don't have to be paying someone else to be doing these things for you you can try to do it by yourself so if you are in if you want to support us or looking for a free way to support us, just make sure you like the video and share it to your friends and family. Then you can subscribe for more money making <coughs> videos. So alright, just input your date of birth here. So I'm going to click on this now. So put in your date of birth there. And it, you can believe you're not up to it I won't advise you to do this. So everything is just financial. It's just additional purposes for educational purposes, not financial advice. But I can just put in any date of birth there. I'm going to put in end it okay let's just put in a little bit so country you can put nigeria there because that's where your id is from so put national id select national id here and id number you have to input it here also so i'm going to <coughs> just input your national id number here then for this place your um, address you can just click on same as business address so let's input national id now so let me just <coughs> they're not going to actually confirm it so just input any number you want to input but i don't think they're confirming it here so then just input any number all right so we're right, done so just let's select same as home address and proceed and once you proceed as you can see guys we have successfully created a paypal account for free without paying anyone to do it for you and this actually works in nigeria also you can open to nigeria and use it to send and receive money because the nigerian one can only i think send you can't receive money so now there's still some other things you need to do so you have to verify your email and link your credit card or bank that's one of the reasons why most accounts get banned you have to link your credit card or bank to it to actually verify the account so you don't just block this anyhow so i'm going to show you how to do this. so just click on that then click on link credit card it's very simple you put in your card details there so they will debit you about one dollar first thing they'll return it back immediately just to confirm that the card is working then they will debit another two dollars again and send you a code in the debit receipt so you have to input the code on the paypal account and once you input it and you have actually confirmed it they will leaves um the what is it called they will bind the card to your account so you successfully done that so you are standing much less risk so here you can <coughs> the things you need to do once you click on account settings there just go to business information so yeah, just follow the steps in the video close to business information and click on update because you have to update some information here and tell people like how much you'll be receiving because this is where most people get banned they just receive a strange amount of money in their wallet people are suspect that's fraud then they'll just ban the account like that so basically go to account settings and business information then here you can put in your um email address that you want to use for customer care it's not compulsory but just do that so here i'll teach you just follow the steps in the video from here if you didn't get how i got here just click on account settings then go to business information then yeah that is click on update so once you're done just click on the done button here so your information has been saved so just click on done again so scroll down and click on your business information then edit so this is actually where we tell them how much will be how much you want to be receiving the account so you don't just block it if any random amount enters so here um, they're asking you for where your money is coming from or if you select orders here you have to tell them where it's coming from so but i'm just going to be selecting other marketplaces what they mean is like where are you getting your sales from is it from ebay or where are you getting your payments so i'm just going to select other marketplace then average transaction price so this is where most people are trying to get banned so you have to select how much you'll be receiving like how much what's the range of the money you are receiving so i'm going to select 300 to so 800 dollars 
we got to select like zero to eighty nine, and you actually and you actually get a payment of like five hundred dollars. You know they obviously block your account because you see it as fraud. So you have to select the amount of money you want to be receiving on the account. So I'm going to select eight three hundred three fifty to eight hundred dollars. So average monthly income just select less than eighteen thousand. It's obviously less than eighteen thousand dollars per month. So I'm going to click on that. <coughs> so yeah, less than eighteen thousand. So percentage or manual revenue so just select 7500 so click on save so those are the things you need to do guys so successfully opened a paper account you can review your information here so you can go ahead and link your credit card and if you want to link your bank account to this you actually need a payunia account a us bank account to link it to so for that you can download payunia or register on payunia or transfer wise you can do you can also get a us account from there and link it to it so because presently now your account is still on a three thousand seven hundred dollar limit but once you link those bank accounts and credit card you to be limit it will be the limit will be lifted then you'll be able to receive unlimited amount of money for free as i've shown you on my previous accounts that i first opened at the beginning of this video so if you are still watching to this point guys thanks for watching then make sure you like the video and share it to your friends and i'll see you in the next one